Punters, welcome. I'm back in Canada. I'm in Squamish, BC, my hometown. Everyone always asks me where I live and I tell them all the time. What are we gonna do today? Well, I gotta go and pick up my new gear from one of components. Also, not got an apparel sponsor or, you know, a gear, gear sponsor, partner, supporter, whatever you wanna call it this year. I messaged Seven Mesh, who are a local company in Squamish, and I said, hey guys, I'd love to ride some of your gear. So we're gonna go to their head office, meet them, say hello, check out some of the gear they're gonna give me, and then, there are some other parts that I need, some of the bits. So I need a full face helmet, I need some new knee pads. Piads? 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 <laughs> and a hip pack, which I've seen a lot of my friends wear. Like that Evoque one maybe, or the Camelback one, I don't know. And I'm gonna show my support for local bike shops by uh, buying them from my local bike shops. There you go. Yeah, that works. My new helmet has arrived from Laser. It's looking great and I'm stoked to wear it but they don't make a full face and that's something I'll definitely need in the van. That's why we're heading out around town and taking a look at what's on offer in local bike shops. Some of you might be asking, what's gonna happen to my old gear? Well, the answer is pretty simple. It's gonna go straight in the trash. <laughs> I'm not actually gonna throw it away. I'm gonna sell some of it, I'm gonna donate some of it, and I'm also gonna donate some money towards Sorka, the local trail organization. The first stop was 1UP Components to grab my new parts and hand over the all-important delivery of chocolate from the UK. So I got two bikes coming this year. I can't tell you what they are yet because that's the next video. So make sure, oh, hit subscribe and then you'll find out what bikes I'm going to get. It's going to be a two video week. It's really exciting. These are the 1UP oval handlebars. They come in an 800mm width. I cut mine down to 780. Check this out. There's lines all over these things. So you can line up your brake levers, you can line up your roll, you can make sure that the stem is in the middle of the handlebar. See here, can you get that number? That number is the head angle of your bike. So these are vertically compliant. Okay, Joel. So what that means is that it absorbs more vibrations from the ground and the trail. But to get the optimal vertical compliance, you have to set this line in line with the stem on the head angle of your frame. It's clever, isn't it? <laughs> Basically Jim from the office at this point. Uh, EDC multi-tool. I prefer the tapped, the tapped option. I've also got a video coming soon with every single EDC option. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dropper posts, which one did they give me? Did they give me the right size? Yes, 180 mil drop. I have used these dropper posts since before they were like a partner of mine. I've never had a single problem with them. Great value, shortest insertion as well. This length here, that's the shortest of any brand on the market, period. Full stop, end off. That means you're gonna get the most amount of drop regardless of your bike. Best thing ever, oh no. Top cap. Silver, hey, that's a clue. Is my bike gonna be silver? Yeah, probably. Wait, what colour is this? I'm colourblind, Joel. I'm turquoise. Does that mean? I'll leave that up to you guys. And another dropper. Silver de Do you say decals or decals? Decal. It's Canadian. Decal? Yeah, isn't that how you kind of say it? I say decal. Okay, decal. What does that mean? Oh. Black. Hmm. What do you What do you think? One of each though. I don't know, we might be pushing things forward. And then I got a 35mm stem because my new bike is gonna be a bit bigger than my old bike. I did have the 50mm on. Because that's a bit longer, I want them a bit shorter. Technical stuff. All right, Joel, we're gonna go to seven mesh now and grab some kit. We met up with TJ and Ian, two of the founders of 7Mesh, and had a good old chinwag about all things Squamish and mountain bike clothing. Since starting the brand in 2013, they've developed a serious reputation with locals around here for being just about the best when it comes to riding gear. Ian takes me through my new bit starting off with a Sky Pilot jacket, named after a peak you can almost see from the 7Mesh office. It's a Gore-Tex Active 2.0 jacket and is so much lighter than most of the Gore-Tex jackets you're going to find. The moment I put this thing on, the range of movement felt limitless compared to other jackets I've used before. This is the Outflow jacket, filmed with Primaloft insulation and stuffs up really small. It has a really high level of air permeability, which means it's going to do a great job of venting excess heat and moisture, helping the jacket be more comfortable overall. 
And the final thing we'll take a closer look at is the Slab Shore. Named after Squamish's famed rock slab trails, there's one really notable thing about these. There's no fly on the front. Ian points out that because there's a stretchy waistband, the fly becomes purely an aesthetic thing and also tells us that 50% of the labour in a pair of shorts goes into the fly. That's crazy! As we were about to leave, Ian and TJ showed us the riding pants that they're working on. So perhaps this is actually a bit of a world exclusive here. They're coming in the fall and I can't wait to try a pair out. As a reminder, these guys aren't sponsoring me officially here. They're just giving me some kit to use and I can represent a local Squamish brand. We wrapped up the visit with a quick tour of the van as they're pretty big fans of vans themselves and we headed off to the first bike shop. But before we hit the shops, I've got to raise some cash to buy all this stuff. Mm, how am I going to do it? Wait, I know, a brand deal. Hey you! Yeah, you in my kitchen that is actually me but I'm also doing the voiceover. Do you ever feel down about your fridge having nothing easy to cook? Are you tired of your cupboards only being full of pasta and rice? Do you struggle to get the most out of your kitchen? Well, there's an easy solution. Hello Fresh. Dinners are solved with delivery straight to your door. No more feeling like an idiot because you have to go to the supermarket like all the other schmucks. You are ahead of the curve. Each box includes fresh, pre-measured ingredients and easy to follow recipe cards. So now you can cook like a champ. And because it's pre-measured, there's going to be far less waste. You'll never get bored of the meal plans because you can pick and choose something that works for you from the 20 plus new recipes they add every week. You can even manage your meal planning on the HelloFresh app, choosing which meals you want up to a month in advance, or even skipping some deliveries if you're out of town. You only order what you want and when you want it. There's zero commitment here. As a vegetarian, I am always stoked with the meals that HelloFresh has to offer, and they take hardly any time to cook. They've got meal plans for everyone from pescatarian to low carb and everything in between. I get to learn new skills with each meal and actually feel like a real life, functional and useful human being. Just look at me. I feel great. So hit the link in the description below and use code PAUL80 to get a whopping $80 Canadian off and free shipping. So now that we've all ordered something from HelloFresh, it's time to hit the bike shops. So we're in Republic Bicycles, so we've got to find. Can you remember what we've got to find, Joel? Knee pads, a full face helmet, a pedally one, and a hip pack, and then maybe anything else that comes up. So let's go back. So I'm discovering that there's not, there's not much bike stock anywhere. Surprise, surprise, it's February. So Republic didn't have a full face that I was looking for because I needed something more permanent. So we're gonna have to find that another shop. Those 100% knee pads, they're like the dream design, but they didn't have my size, unfortunately. I have not done enough squats to get into a large size knee pad yet. I know Camelback do like a big hip pack, but they didn't have that. They just had the hip pack that I already have. I did get some sealant and I supported them by buying their merch. Oh, did you say merch, Joel? I'm pretty sure you did. Let's not forget here, Team Slow and Awkward Riding jerseys are available in my store now. Hit the link in the description below. There's not many left. They're selling really well. So if you want to grab one of these, and don't be like me, trying to buy your jerseys and there's no stock, you can grab one of these today. They're really nice, really well made, and they're yellow, and yellow's cool. Yeah, that's sold, isn't it? All right, next stop. So Tantalus, great shop. They've been supporting local riders for a long time, and they make the greatest hot sauce I have ever ever had in my entire life. Don't take that lightly, Joel. I've bought you a bottle as well, and you can report back to me. But I assure you that that stuff is incredible. I think it's actually their most popular product that they have in the shop. And we were told they were, they were about to sell their 10,000th bottle. These guys stock Smith and the main line. Tried the helmet on and it fit like a glove. But obviously, most of the time, you're gonna see me in laser helmets. And then needed to pick up some knee pads. And I've heard from Owen over at One Up that the Dekine ones are actually pretty good. But they did have a small, and I thought, you know, maybe my calves are small enough to fit in these, but, you know, they were just too big. I need a medium, and they didn't have one. They also stocked Camelback, and they had the Camelback hip pack, which felt okay. Might go back and pick it up. Depends if the next shop has the Evoc one. Yeah, that was worth a zoom. So we're gonna go into Corsa Cycles now, 
And this is gonna be chill because I know a lot more of these guys. And and all of the guys in here are really funny. So let's go see Nick, Brett, and Alex. I bet none of them will be working now. I've just listed those names, none of them are working. So now we've found the full face helmet. We just need to find the knee pads and the hip pack. Luckily, we go into Corsa and they have a full rack of these seven IDP knee pads that I have worn for a long time before. So I was pretty confident on the fit, but wanted to check. So I jumped into the chain rooms, slid one on, and they fit perfectly, Joel, which was a huge win. I ride quite a lot and these things get really smelly. So I've bought two. Now, let me tell you the secret to a good knee pad, okay? It's so simple, just have this bit long enough at the top. Like you don't want the gaper gap. That's what it is in skiing, isn't it? Really good protection. And it goes a little bit further down the shin. The last thing, hip pack. And lo and behold, they had the Evoque one. I think it's really well designed. Evoque have given me a bunch of stuff over, my year, over the years. So why not buy it back? So now this is gonna make it a lot easier. Say I'm doing like a GoPro video ride or whatever, even though I hardly do them anymore. I can throw the back of camera. Oh. <laughs> That's handy, isn't it? It's my A6600. I should have tested this first. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> commit to the commit to the bit. Commit to the bit. Perfect. Look at that. There you go. So now I can have a like solid B camera that's actually good. What a successful video. I actually didn't think we were gonna buy all the stuff because I thought it was just gonna be out of stock everywhere. There's a new video coming out in just a few days and it's my brand new bike. Hit the subscribe button so you'll get notified about it when it goes live. And if you enjoyed this video, then please be so kind as to hit the like button as well. Cheers, punters. I'll see you next time.